Welcome on this quick visit to Townsville, North Queensland. Your narrator is Don. Approaching by plane, you see Magnetic Island out to sea. The tip of land is the central business district, broken by the Ross River. You can also see Castle Hill in the center. This aerial shot clearly shows the harbor, the yacht club to the bottom right, and of course Castle Hill. You can see the high-rise buildings in the central business district and the urban sprawl. Townsville, with a population of 130,000 people, is the largest tropical city north of the Tropic of Capricorn. Sorry, I do love old maps. This interesting map shows some of the larger islands off the Queensland coastline, including the Bruce Highway. Now we're moving into the city of Townsville, and this map shows not only the national parks, uh, Magnetic Island, but also the suburbs that make up Townsville. A street map of the central business district. You can see Castle Hill, a large 300 meter monolithic red rock in the center of the city. Sorry, I gotta stop showing these old maps. 1975, Townsville. Townsville has matured greatly since the 1900s, became a city in 1903. Some of the original inhabitants, the Aboriginals, Townsville began as a gold rush city and also was a port for the export of sugarcane and other coastal products and products from the interior tablelands such as beef. Here's an early experimental cattle station in Townsville. And an early picture of the harbor. Note the steam locomotive. Now we move to the present, a modern picture of the harbor showing a tugboat and Castle Hill in the background. A view of the Yacht Club in Townsville, gateway to the Barrier Reef. Another aerial view taken towards sunset. Castle Hill is a great way to get a photograph of the Central Business District. A view of the city of Townsville about sunset. The same, but a bit closer up. A labeled photograph Notice Magnetic Island off in the distance. The Jupiter Hotel is the local casino. Looking at the Central Business District, the same. Beginning in the 1870s, Townsville became very prosperous, particularly from the gold rush. This is reflected in some of the early buildings that exist today. I'm not sure when uh, this building was built, but probably around the 
late 1800s. A more modern building, Jupiter's Casino. A good way to lose your money. I didn't spend long in Townsville, but the thing that really got me was going to the Reef HQ Aquarium. It was fantastic. Apparently it's got the best reef collection in the Southern Hemisphere. Let's quickly run through a few photographs taken through the glass. Not actually in the aquarium, this is the shipwreck and there's great scuba diving off the coast of Townsville. The wall murals in Townsville are great. It's hard to believe this is actually painted on a brick wall. This wall mural at the Townsville Adventurers Resort is also really good. And that Aboriginal boy looks really angry and mean. Townsville has developed the Strand as the public beach area. Here it is with one of the um, uh, play areas for children. In the tropics, you don't go swimming between November and May because of the stingers. When in Townsville, you will want to visit the Great Barrier Reef, an aerial shot of the reef near Townsville. Kite surfing is very popular. A special event in Townsville, the fireworks. Magnetic Island has about 2,000 permanent residents and a lot of people commute daily from the island. There's regular ferries. As you can see, you don't have to wait very long. Uh, there's a large national park on the island and a lot of activities for tourists. They even boast their own newspaper called the Magnetic Times, which is on the internet. Here's its front page for today. Some of the activities in Magnetic Island include bushwalking and beach rides. And let's not forget a Guinness at the Irish Bar and Bistro. It's good that people have a sense of humor. I got a laugh out of this, particularly unruly ankle biters. Thanks for joining me on this quick visit to Townsville. I only spent a couple of days there, so I'm no expert, but I hope you did enjoy these pictures.